Welcome to the Shaggy Haired episode of Drew's Brew Reviews. What I'm doing this week is Great Lakes Chill Wave. It's a double IPA uh, that we have here that was actually formerly known as Alchemy Hour Double IPA. Uh, this was released in 2013, sold really, really well when it came out. Um, they had to legally change the name because of a dispute with a trademark that uh, the Widmere Brothers uh, Brewing had, uh, along with the Craft Brewing Association, I believe. So they ended up changing it from Alchemy Hour to Chill Wave Double IPA. Now, I'm not really a fan of either of those, but what's in a name? Who cares? This particular beer is brewed with Mosaic, Cascade, and Nugget Hops. So really, a lot of the flavors you're going to get are out of the Mosaic and the Nugget Hops. The Nugget's really going to get the bittering, and the Cascade's really there for kind of a citrus and an aroma that it adds to it. But the Mosaic is really what's going to give the hop body to this beer. Um, the malt for this, and this is where I think makes pretty interesting, it uses Harrington, Caramel, and Honey Malt. Now that Honey Malt is what's going to make this be very similar to another beer that I've had recently. But I will wait to talk about that until I actually crack this open and drink it. Now, as this is a smaller bottle, I am not going to be doing it out of a series of glasses. I'm just going to have it out of the glass I feel IPAs typically are best served out of, which is a tulip. The ABV for this was 9.4%. The cost uh, for me was $3. The serving temperature for this, now the bottle lists that you should serve it about 45 degrees. That's just a little bit cold in my opinion. I'd probably go 50 and maybe even push into 55. And then the availability for this, this is actually released in February. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and crack this sucker open and pour it out and give you guys a look. You can see just an absolutely fantastic two finger head, white and fluffy on the top there holding really, really nicely. Kind of coppery, amber red. When you see it in person, it's a little bit darker red, I think, than it's, it's reading on the camera there, but just crystal clear, it looks beautiful. Absolutely awesome looking IPA, something I want to dive into. Love the fluffy head, still holding on there. Gonna go ahead and uh, take the aroma in on this. This probably has one of my favorite aromas I have ever smelled. Uh, really fruity, resiny, it's got mango and grapefruit and pineapple, just incredible tropic fruit nose on this. Um, decent maltiness in the background to it, but it's definitely in the background. This is a fruit forward beer as far as the aroma and in some ways the taste is concerned. There is a little bit of booziness at the 9.4. There's a little bit of that boozy tang that's in there, but it goes so well with some of the, the citrus notes. Just really, really nice tropical fruit nose on this. Love it, love it, love it. So with that in mind, I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a taste. Really creamy mouthfeel. That's one of the things I really like about this. Nice, heavy, creamy mouthfeel. This is tipping towards syrupy, but doesn't quite get to that level. Still very drinkable, but has a substantial weight in your mouth. Just that nice, creamy, rich mouthfeel that, that this gives is great. Now, the fruit flavors, they got really in the beginning, you kind of get this uh, soapy floral note and then just immediately goes into this these lovely, the mango, uh, a little bit of pineapple and uh, some peach and grapefruit. All of those things are there. The grapefruit's a little bit more towards the end, but really that those sweet, citrusy fruit notes that are on the beginning and the tip of your tongue and just kind of wash over are just really really lovely it just moves into this nice maltiness again a bit of a sweet note and uh, then actually finishes uh, uh, with a nice bitterness not too bitter but a, a bitterness that's there to let you know that yeah this is an ipa this isn't a fruit beer even though it, it definitely feels fruit forward as opposed to a hop forward beer even though that's how they just they describe it themselves now with the abv on this you do get a bit of uh, burn, I think, on the way down. You can tell that the alcohol is there and that it's going down your throat. You really get it in the back of your throat when you first take a sip. Now, it's not offensive, but you, it, you're not going to fool yourself into thinking that this is a lower ABV beer. When it gets to the finish, which has a nice resiny body, when it gives you the bitterness, there's also some resin in there, some honey and the booze all mix. That's something that I think mixes really, really well together in a beer, and this does do it extremely well. To me, this and Hop Slam um, are kind of cousins. Now, when I initially had Hop Slam uh, a couple years ago, I, I absolutely loved it. Thought it was a great beer. Had some nice fruit-forward flavors to it because it uses stone fruit. Um, 
in the brewing process and it also uses actual honey in there. So there's some very similar flavor profiles going on between the Hop Slam and the Chill Wave here. Now from this year's Hop Slam, if you happen to have seen the, the review I did of that one, the, the, it was a little bit disappointing. That Hop Slam uh, didn't really have the fruit flavors that I wanted. It was more of a kind of just a honey and hopped beer with a malt backbone. Still good, but didn't quite push it into the, you know, up over into the, the greatness that I wanted from it and that I remembered from it. This kind of does that. This is what I remember Hop Slam to be. Proud it on long enough about my praise of this beer. Very, very clear that um, I absolutely recommend this with a caveat. If you're a hop head, or you're someone that really wants that earthy hop qualities, you may not like this because this is a very sweet beer. I think most people that are, that are into IPAs will enjoy this beer. If you like Hop Slam, absolutely try this beer. It works for me, works really, really well. Love the, the, the fruit profile, really digging that in IPAs lately. Um, and this one just does it wonderfully. So for Great Lakes Brewing Company, Andrews Brew Reviews. Cheers. Go to DrewsBrewsReviews.com for more video and written beer reviews. Follow me on Twitter at Drew Brew Reviews. Leave off the first two S's for savings. For the latest on big beer releases and PA events.